hello guys welcome to our channel and today's our topic of discussion is how can you make a calendar with the help of simple formulas and here you can see the calendar you just need to put the year like 2000 and the calendar will tell you the uh, year of 2000 and if i just put 2021 so you will get the calendar of 2021 you can also change the number of months as you can see you you can see the changes and if i just go back in 1990 so the calendar will be a pair of 1990 with uh, the number of month or with the month what i want this is what you we will learn today but before that you have to just do so here you can see the uh, table i already made for you with the number of uh, days so we'll start without wasting any time and in this you can see the tables and in the second sheet i al also made the number of year and below number of month you have to just write here and in first we just go here in our box and write the formula and start our first formula like you have to just go in this cell and select the cell but uh, you can use the uh, this bar for formula like you just need to write here equals to and then you have to just write here if bracket open now it says logical so you just need to write here uh, the week day bracket open now it says uh, the value so I again write another which is date bracket open now it says year so you have to go here in the second sheet and select the year then comma it says month so you have to just select the uh, month which is over five and then comma it says day so we just write, need to write one for the day then bracket close but before that you have to just uh, use the constant symbol here so that the formula will work for everyone otherwise it will not work and then you have to just write here uh, the so you have to just use the comma then two for the exact value then bracket close and here you can see equals to and then you have to just use the column uh, not uh, here you can see the two options but you have to use the columns uh, with s function so you have to just use the columns bracket uh, open and it says array so you have to go here in the sheet and array means you have to select the uh, number which is contain the row and column so i just select the row and column which is seven uh, b7 so you just need to select the address b7 and double uh, column and again b7 and before that you have to just uh, make the b7 constant so use the dollar sign and then close it with the bracket and then you have to just write here comma and one for the exact value then again comma and you have to just again use the another function which is if bracket open is number and in this it says number what we uh, need so we just select the number uh, from which we just exit so we just need to select the a7 because after the a7 we will uh, plus one for b7 so i just select a7 bracket close comma and again a7 plus one which means after that it will select then other then comma and inverted comma if there is no value then two brackets and here you can see the our whole formula completed now press enter so it says nothing so you have to just need to bra drag the hole to the line so here you can see the two uh, days and now we just put our second formula which is very uh, simple as compared to the first one so you have to just write your equals to and then we have to just write here if bracket open now what you need to say you have to just write here uh, the value h7 which means h7 is given here and we want uh, after h7 so we just write h7 less than days then in day you can see i already another put date and in this it wants year so you just go again in the year section and then comma now it says months and you select the months but in the month you have to just write here plus 
and in plus you have to just write your one for the increment now you have to just write your comma and one for the day and you have to close the bracket and again you have to just write your minus one because it will uh, ultimately changes the value so you just need to write your minus one bracket close and you have to just again write your comma and you go here and you can see the uh, box which is b7 oh, sorry our value is in uh, h7 so what you have to do put you have to just put the h7 and you have to just again write plus one for the increment now comma and inverted comma for if no value then it will blank the space now close the bracket and before that you need to put the constant sign so it will give you the exact result so i put the constant now i just need to press the enter and here you can see the whole value is ready and this is for an h7 for the increment and here you can see the values and dates and sheet sheet is for no, inner year month and then we just write here minus one for the increment and then you can see the h7 and after plus one which means h7 and then it go back to the b and enter and here you can see the value you have just need to drag it and in that you have to drag it vertically so you just drag it and it gives you the value but after completion the value will be correct so now you just need to put our last and third formula so what is our last and third formula it is almost exact same from our second like equals to you just need to write your if and bracket open now again you just need to put here uh, the value which is our b8 from our preceding and you just need to put a less than sign and day and again you just need to select bracket open date again comma now it says year so you just need to go again for year and comma now month you just go again for month and in this month you again need to put the plus sign and in the plus you just need to put one for the increment now comma you just put the one for the bracket close now minus one and then you again just need to close the bracket comma and go back here and for the increment what we have to do we have to just use the same thing but you just need to put first a b8 plus increment and here you can see b7 then it goes to b8 and comma and you have to just write inverted comma close bracket for empty and i just press enter now what you have to do you have to just drag the box but before that you just need to put the constant sign so you will get the values like i just put the constant here in both the signs so it will give you the exact value now just need to uh, drag it so you can see the changes now you have to again select and drag it up till end and you have to just select the values and you can see the changes as i just change the values and as i just drag the values as well so i just drag the values and you can see the whole calendar value is ready now this is uh, our three formulas consist of uh, in which two formulas are almost similar the first one is somehow complicated now what we have to do we have to just write here year and month from which we just need to put the year so you can see the year here so you have to just link this cell you have to go here write equals to and select the cell so the cell will be linked and here you can see if i just write here 2021 so you can see the 2021's box now in month you have to just write here and in this i just first write your formula which is text and bracket open now date and in date you just need to go here again in the same function which is for air and air you just select the upper value which is already linked now for month you have to go here in the sheet 2 and select the this values now just comma and then one for day you don't need to put the constant here and then comma 
and you have to just write here inverted comma and then the format in which we want value inverted comma close and then you just need to close the bracket and you just need to put your enter you will get the values now just put in the center alignment this is our uh, month completed and what we have to do you have to just need to put the function here so our last formula what you have to do you have to just write our equals to and it is a similar formula for the last one which is our text and you just write your text and bracket open now date bracket open again it says here so you just select the year from here comma now month so you have to again go here in this month column box and you have to just write a comma then one for the value and close the bracket and then you have to just write your the format which is our four m's which means month and year and it comma close and you just need to close the bracket and but you just need to join the year as well so you just put the and sign inverted comma and plus space here for the space inverted close and again and and in this and you need the air so what you have to do you have to again select the air and air air you have to just select it so you will get the address of the air and this is our complete and plus center so you can see the air here this is our uh, lecture and in this you can see the changes now we just need to test but before the test we want to uh, make some changes like if you want to put the month so you will get the month as well so you just need to link the cell and for link you need, just need to create another cell because in this if you put the value in this cell so it will get uh, disturbed so you just need to first hide the cell and here I just write your air and upper I just write your months so I just need to put the months so you will get the values of the month so here you can see i just need to write here the month so you will get the value of may and here you can see the value if i just put the any other month so you will get but i just uh, like i just write december so you can see the value of december and if i just write here january so you can see the january if i just change the year so you can get the year change as well if i just write your april so you can see the april's value and if i just change any other like august so you can see the august and this is very simple uh, calendar which consists of five boxes and in this boxes you just need to put the formula by using it i already provided the uh, excel sheet in my uh, page facebook page and the link is also available so you can go and download the uh, excel file uh, from here and you can test and check the formulas from uh, this file and if you face any confusion in our uh, this example you can write in our comment section and here you can see i am already testing this example and if you face any confusion you can write thank you for watching our video please subscribe it